entertain you. Where are you going? Please, take me with you. Okay, I did my research this time about you motherfuckers. So let me explain something to you here. Ting Yun, right? What's the main thing we see right here, huh? Oh, that's right. Not the furry. Scratch the fucking furry part. I'm talking about how the motherfucking feet are in every single conversation about you fucks. Listen here, you sniffa sniffa motherfuckers. You can say whatever you want about the, oh, she's so sweet. She'd meet me with a smile every single day of the week. Oh my god, she's such a hard worker. She really, really is such a nice person and I care about her. And honestly, I agree. She really is. Props to her because she's got her priorities straight. And honestly, it's really cool and adorable that you want someone that's, you know, hardworking, always got a smile on their face no matter what's happening, and it's just a bundle of joy to be around. But wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh wait a minute. But we know, me and you, right here, let's look at each other real fucking quick. Me and you both know that, let's be honest here, you don't give a single shit about that fucking time. You see boobs. You see exposed skin. You see, oh my god, hot fox girl. Let me breed that motherfucker and make me some fox, baby! <laughs> this might be one of the most horny communities I've seen for a character. With a character that is so nice and wholesome. But goddammit, she's fucking hot. My name is Queen I Tech. Good day without seeing you feels like three years. No, 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 hold on. Let me get something off my chest. I've been needing to get this out recently, and I think you all need to hear it. Queen Iphen might be the most underrated character in this entire game, and I'm a stand on that shit right there. There are no complaints here. I don't really see a single flaw. Streamer girl, whatever, you can say toxicity. You can say, oh, she don't got no time for me because she a streamer girl. She a celebrity. She a pop star. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit! I mean, it's real obvious that you got a thing for like the cheery, happy, oh, let's go on a date and sing karaoke together. Let's go have so much fun together. I want to do the most fun things on the planet with you. That probably makes you mad weak, and I honestly respect you for that, because holy shit, that sounds fun. You think she's so pretty, the outfit, the eyes, the everything, it's just so pretty. There's not really a lot of horny feelings going on when you're thinking about her. But let's keep it a buck fifty with me real quick. You're not gonna pass up that opportunity if it comes around. Let's be honest with ourselves here. She's adorable, she's fun to be around, she 100% grew on you, and she's someone you would defend and protect with your life. One last thing, too. Sex alert! <laughs> Sweet mother of yeah! Hello, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Topaz. Now I just want to respectfully apologize. I was not familiar with your game, Topaz. Or might I say, Topaz. Cause oh my goodness gracious. Goose, tone it down. All of your viewers are not horny. Shut up. Now I meant to mention this with the Asta one on the last video, but I'll mention it now. Holy money bags, you love you a good, hot businesswoman who's got her head screwed on straight. And let me just tell you something, this woman knows business. We talking tycoon level, we talking all kinds of business deals. She gonna be the sugar mama to you. You want you a girl who can take care of you and spoil you, don't you? I know, you wanna be that stay-at-home wife and a passenger princess. You wanna be that person that's like, oh, Let's split this relationship 50-50. I pay for you, you pay for me. But if we gonna be honest here, you the money bags. So it's on you, baby girl. Not only are you infatuated with her ass, which is the main point. Moving on. You also love the morals here and how good she can take care of a situation and is a manager and is just a grown-up adult. That makes you happy. The outfit, the red and white theme, the red streak going down her hair, her ass sets. No pun intended. You love them. They're great. They're all kinds of good things for you. Plus, on the side, she comes with Wumpa Lumpa Gis Wumper Dumper Wumperson Wumper Dumper. Let's forego the pleasantries. If you wish to avoid trouble, pretend we never met. Have you ever wanted a woman that can kick your ass at moments' notice? Do you want a badass woman that doesn't give a single fuck about you? Well, look right here. Call this number on screen, and you can get yourself a free Jingle U right now. But wait, there's more. Call in the next five minutes, and you can get a free ass ticket with it too. Now, I will say, she's beautiful. The hair, the body, 
the eyes, the movements, the elegance, the fucking sword master, the oh my god. It's all you can really ask for, and a strong woman that's gonna carry your ass through every single motherfucking tragedy in life, and every single issue you have in life. The amount of links you will go for this woman, to min-max her stats, and show off her build to other people. Even a 0.1% of crit rate or crit damage in your eyes goes, ahem, uh, actually, my Jingliu build is better than yours, nerd. Get good, kid. You will not hesitate for a second to let everybody in the fucking world know, scream it from the mountaintops, that Jingliu is the best character in the game, and show off your build like it's a fucking Nobel Peace Prize. Not to mention, she's voiced by Amelie, who you're probably in love with. Also, let's just clear up the water real quick. You 100% have something for girls that absolutely hate you and are mean to you and could kill you in a second. You're probably sitting there like, oh my god, please kill me, please hurt me, holy shit, it's so hot. You know, it's, it's obvious, like, this woman is a psychopath that could kill you in the drop of a fucking hat. And your thought process is, her hair, her body, those eyes, that voice, if I can even get a little crumb of all of that, it's worth dying for. I am Bushwe. Honored guest, would you like to know your fortune? Alrighty, listen here, girly pop. Is it because she's pink? If it is, then we've already figured out why you like her. If it's not, then I would like to move on now. Now I got a couple of words for the Zhongli of Honkai Star Rail. If you use her as a crutch, you're shit. I'm just gonna let you know. I think it's really responsible if you can admit that you're shit at the game. Now, if you're here for the real section, and she's your waifu, then let me get to explain it. Let's break it down real quick. You think big words are impressive. Big, long, convoluted words. The bigger the five head, the bigger you're in love. If you know what I'm saying, she's smart. She's hardworking. You know, she's a tsundere. And let's be honest here, you are in love with those types. You love the tsundere type, and I'm gonna fucking say it. Something that would make you melt is, oh my god, I hate you, baka. Now hug me. I just want to go on record and say, I did not say that. The hair, you know, the, the, the pink aesthetic. Let's be honest here. Let's just be straight with ourselves. You love it. Even if it's not the main reason why you love her, it's still bonus points. You're always going to go after the smart, shy girl. And the, and the one that, you know, doesn't always stand out in the crowd. But you're going to find them and you're going to love them for the rest of your life. You're the type of person that, you know, you skip the whole fooling around stage. You skipped everything. You're someone that wants a one and done. The first person you date is the first person you're going to marry. That's what you want right here. But I will say, the Divination Commission. That, that sounds a little familiar from someone that I know. Except the difference with this person is, she does a little bit of a... I cast testicular torsion on your nutsack! 